you everybody coming at you from out in the great wilderness and uh who do we have on camera hey oh got <laughs> nick on the steady cam all right today uh i mentioned in the last show uh, the last video that there was a piece of gear that i was developing and what it is it's a, it's a piece of gear that has evolved over the years all right so it's a and i'm always preaching about multi-use gear so, let's take a look right here at this. Now, a long time ago, some of my long time viewers may remember there was a Roycroft pack frame. Okay? Now, what that is, is for those of you that knows what a Roycroft pack frame is, is it's traditionally three pieces of wood in a triangular shape with either paracord rope or webbing on it. All right. Well, about, I don't know, three, four, five years ago, a while back, I did the Roycroft pack frame and grill. Okay. So what that is, is it was a frame, I mean, it was a grill that you could set on rocks or dig a hole and set it in it. But you could also strap, put all of your gear in a tarp and strap it to it and then use, uh, you know, whatever you want, whatever your choice is for, for straps. Now, the inherent problems with this thing was everywhere where you bend, you're annealing the stainless steel and it makes it where it's soft and it'll curve. Now, when you attach some sort of straps to it at the bottom, they allowed it to slide around, okay? So it needed some sort of a hole and I think there were some viewers that suggested it, okay? So what I have done is I have improved it with this new updated version. Okay. Well, what this is, this is everywhere that I welded makes it weak. Okay, so what I did is I welded this and attached rings at each end so that these wouldn't slide around. And there's another use for it here I'm gonna show you in a minute. And I also added an extra piece on the outside right here so that this would be solid it wouldn't bend quite as easier and i made it a little bit smaller so what you're looking at right there is a bunch of stuff wrapped up you can either wrap it up in a tarp or a shelter or whatever and then the way you put this on is you put it on just like this okay now it's attached at the top and it attached at the bottom and the way you do it is since it's a bungee you stretch it over this way and you stretch it over this way, okay? Hmm. And it's actually, okay, get my do-rag out. It's actually quite comfortable, believe it or not. It's like that. Yep. All right. And uh, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, we're gonna find a nice flat spot somewhere around here. So uh, I'm gonna walk just a little bit. Nick's gonna follow behind me and take a look and see how it looks. And uh, Nick is wearing the Hidden Woodsman backpack today. Yep. <laughs> Because all I have is the shelter components that I'm going to show you back here. And uh, Nick has all the rest of the stuff that we're going to need. Okay? Yeah. So, if this is just dead weight. This is something to show you yeah. from the video. So, follow behind me here and let's take a look and see how, how this looks. I didn't mention it, but it looks like the old uh, tent grill, as I call it. It looks like it did have a bit of a bow into it. Yeah, the old one did. Bend a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But if it bends, it'll bend back. Yeah. All right. You know something? I think we might have done a circle. <laughs> but anyway, this really? is a good, nice, flat place here. And uh, how did it look, Nick? Did it look okay? Yeah, it looks good. I'm feeling it right down here. So what I think, what I think is that we're going to need, I should have put one more bungee on it. That's exactly what I should have done right here. Let's see. Let's take a look. No, what I should have done is this needed to be across the bottom. I didn't... That's it. See, now that's better right there. See how I just put it across the bottom right here? See, and that's making it... Because before the pack was sliding down. Okay. I think that would be... That's a lot better right there. That was just something that I forgot to rig up. 
because like I said, this is still in development, but I'm excited to show y'all because it's not finished, and if y'all have any ideas or additions that you want to go into it. Oh, I have uh, a tree laying on me. Yeah, that's not good. I have a, so, uh, can you see it? <laughs> I felt something like I felt something laying on me, but I wasn't sure what it was. So I started moving. Oh, look a tree! <laughs> All right, now the way you get into this is you just take off these these here. These are the corners. Okay. All right, there's the bungees. Bungees are always useful for anything. I, I always these carabiner bungees. I cover them with cloth to keep them from getting torn up on tree bark and stuff. Now with this. All you got to do is undo the top one and undo the bottom one. And then you've got all your gear here. See, they're, they're hooked on the bottom so that they don't slide around. Now, as far as a tri use, this actually has about four uses and possibly more. But first and foremost, it's a, it's a backpack frame. And then just like the other one, you can dig a hole and set it and have a fire in there and cook over it like a grill or you can set it up on rocks and it'll be a grill but today we're going to set up and i'm going to show you how these rings help it be part of a shelter topper hmm. which is going to be cool this is the shelter or the shelter that is in development so what you do is you have everything here you think you might need all the goodies that you think you're going to need for your camping trip and you just pile everything in now this is something i'm going to show you that you don't have to carry every time okay so there it is we have all that gear there and now this shelter is big enough for two people uh, this is made out of a right now this is just a water resistant camo but i'm going to make it waterproof pretty soon once i get done with all of the additions and I know I'm not going to sew on this anymore, then that's when I'm going to uh, do the final waterproofing on it. There's no telling what I may add. So, and incidentally, this was capable of being this, that and this, and that has the capabilities of being a summer or a winter shelter. So you're going to find that out here in a minute. So first thing we're going to do, save a little bit of time, I got to cut three legs like a tripod. And what I've done is instead of carrying that cover is set up, that cover and that bug net is set up so that I don't have to carry a measuring stick with me. My height, if I can find trees that are this height right here, that's perfect. If it'll just touch the top of my hand straight up. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I measure. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab, uh, see if I can find three sticks around wrist thick, and then I'm gonna show you how this thing sets up. All right? All right. Sound good? All right, you can go ahead and take that backpack off and set it down, because we're, we're, we're staying here, all right? Sounds good to me. All right. All right, I have grabbed up three logs here. It took a while, so it is off camera. Now, up here, if it's somewhere's within the neighborhood of that, I'm happy, all right? So now what we're gonna do, let's see. Lay these things down in like a triangle shape. Oh, I hope this works. Kind of triangle shape. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put one in there, just like that. Put one in there, just like that. Now, this may bend this a little bit. I don't know. But see, the problem is, is uh, here we're talking about when you're developing something like this. You know, you don't want That's to. Uh, you don't want to make things so heavy that they're they're too heavy. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do? Kind of spread this out a little bit. Now it's already got kind of a bow in it, but there's no fear of this thing breaking out. Really. You could always just flip it around and make a bow the other way. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Unless it goes too far. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But we're on a hill, kind of. It's bowing a little bit, but as long as it doesn't bend, I'm, I'm okay with it. Let's run this back up a little bit in here. Let's see if we can get that level. All right. Now, I don't know. We may have to sharpen the ends of these and stab them in the ground, but in the meantime, we're going to try this here for now. Kind of in the way. Break that tip off right there. All right. Now, as far as summertime, 
take a look here. What you can do, I didn't bring one. I didn't bring a bivy sack. Uh, this is Abo gear. Look at that tag. Some of you may recognize this from back in the 90s. Abo gear in Decatur, Georgia. This thing, it's a tree limb behind you. There it goes. <laughs> I'll get that in a minute, Nick. Now this thing, it's a blanket built into a bag. It's got some tent stakes. Let's put that down there. So what you can do, all right, the back side of it is like a, a nice uh, ripstop type nylon. Let's just throw this in the middle here. Oh, get rid of some of these sticks, these pine cones. What, you don't like laying on pine cones? No, do you? Well, I guess I'm the only one. But now we got a nice cushiony layer here already of, of uh, pine, pine straw. Let's just lay this blanket out right here in the middle. Mm. Right in the middle. I feel like I'm going on a picnic. That's what it's like, ain't it? That'd be right in the middle right there. Now what we're going to do, now this will be the summertime, and I am convinced that if you had a bivy sack or preferably a snug pack jungle bag, which I do have, and I may use in this, the snug pack jungle bag has a net sewn over it that zips over your face. And so you can set this thing up, and it's double protection because... If you've got this thing set up here, you know, in a very hot environment, or like maybe the wetlands, uh, this is a, people are going to ask, so let me show you this. Let's see, this is, okay, here we go. This is normally called an insect bar because it's insect barrier, so let's take a look. Insect protector, and there's the numbers on it. Southeastern Kentucky, whatever that is. Cool. But anyway, that's what this is. This is a this is for a this is for a military cot. So what we're gonna do is throw this thing over there. And I think now the main reason for this is I'm testing out my theory about you know how high to cut these logs here. So but I'm I'm not gonna tie this down permanently, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one corner right here and set it down. See that here's some tie-offs that we could tie it off to a stake or something if we wanted to. Let's pull this down, or you could probably put a log on it. Now that's going to fall in naturally. Now if I had my tent stakes, I could stake it off here and stake it off right here. Yeah, just like that. So now it reaches on the ground on this side and this side, and this side, and it's up a little on the other side. Just throw a log on it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, now that tells me what I want to know. All right, there's one little opening over here. So what that tells me, it's touching the ground here, no problem. Can you see that on camera good? Yeah. Oh yeah, touching, touching there, no problem, all the way around. Okay, on three sides it's touching, but there's a corner right here that's not touching. So we got about a foot here not touching. Okay, so what that tells me is whenever I'm going to set this thing up as a summer shelter, then I probably need to go head high. I bet you if I cut these off head high, it'll be perfect for the bug net, okay? Hmm. So, but you get the basic idea is what it is, is uh, and if, whenever I'm like in a, the wetlands or the swamp or somewhere in the summer, what I can do, minimalist gear, okay? I won't have to have that big heavy cover. All I'll have to have is like a, a jungle bag or a bivy and the net and the pack frame. And I can sleep in here. Ugh. Yeah, there'll be plenty of room to sleep in here if these are pulled out with the uh, eggs. All right. Yeah. But then, like I said, this is not the this is not the number one setup. This is just a secondary setup. So uh, we have 
it's a pack frame, it's a grill, and then it's part of a summer shelter. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing off and pack it away and we're going to get back into the fall winter type shelter. All right, we're going to look at that and see how that does. Put the bug net away now and like i say this is double protection because you'll either be in a bivy sack or a jungle bag which is your primary protection and then you know that'll be from like ants flying around on the ground and then things flying in the air you'll be protected by them mainly by the big bug net so double protection so yeah. now this thing here this is actually now i stayed up I've been working on this a long time. I stayed up last night till about one in the morning putting the final touches on this thing. So, I mean, this is this new. <laughs> yes, we can all verify hearing the sewing machine at one in the morning. <laughs> That's right. Now that is dedication. Now what this is, is this is, uh, I think a pyramid, I think a pyramid is uh, four sides, and I'm not sure what shape three sides are. Do you know what that is? There's a name for it. It's like a tri tropa sip a dup -a -don or something. Sounds like a dinosaur. I don't know. I just call them all pyramids. If they're pulled. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. I don't care. I don't know. I, I thought of the name pyramid shelter, but I think pyramids have four sides. Now, this thing's got a big hole in the middle, and what you want to do is find, find a seam, and you want to throw this over. Throw that over like that. It would help you, but yeah, it's kind of hot out. Yeah, a little bit. I'll just stand here. So, well, I, I can't wait till the winter time when we can actually camp with this thing. Ready to go back to the cooking weather. videos. I can't stand hot weather. All right, so let's take a peek. Now I've got a seam right here. You can come over here and look at the top of this closer if you want to. So what you do is you have an opening right here, and. It's a triangular opening, and it just kind of hangs here. Now, the, the edging, this stuff here is called grow grain ribbon. It's like a polyester ribbon, and it makes sure that the edge doesn't, doesn't fray. All right, so what do we do now? There's part of the, the door. So what we're going to start doing is we just kind of start hanging this thing out right here. Yeah. Let's grab this thing. Start hanging that down. Then we're going to come around here. We're going to start hanging this thing down. Now what There's we're going to have to do there. is we're going to have to kind of move it around a little bit. Well, actually, what you're looking for is every one of these needs to kind of somewhat line up with this. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the tool there. I have my Fox Light gear bag. Fox Light is a vendor on Bushcraft USA. That's a Fox Light bag and that's a Hidden Woodsman bag. Ah! Y'all are going to love this. This is another piece to this shelter. I don't know what it is, and I already love it. Let's try use. What do we got in here? All right, let's take a look here. Now, what we're going to do, put all this stuff down here on the ground. I don't need the short ones. I want the long ones. Now, I have some of these eye stakes that I've made. Now, what we're going to do is go through every corner. What I'm going to do I'm going to stab that in the ground. Let's go over here. I'm going to stab this in the ground. Now see right there how this is pulling over? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move this leg over a little bit. Because every one of these big triangles was sewn the same. So I'm just moving the bottom and then staking it down. Just like that. Go back here and do this last. Let's stretch it out. Oh, and at the end here. All right, now that I've got all of those stretched out, 
what we can look at next is what you want to see is you want to see if these are relatively close. And they are relatively close at the top. Now if you'll science, see if you'll come down here and look, this is not webbing that I've sewn on at each corner in the middle. This, you've heard me talk about mule tape. Well, I found on Amazon a guy, I think his name's Sergeant Knotts. He actually makes different colored mule tape. So I ordered some olive dry. Isn't that cool? See right there? But now when you cut this, you have to burn the ends of it. Hmm. So, you know, you just it's easy to sew this on. So you just slide this on and stake it down to the ground. Just like that. See so you're see now you're you're nice and sealed off against the ground. So let's come around yeah. here. Pull this out, just like that. All right, then I'll go around to the back and necessary or not, but it's just something that I'm thinking about that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put these clips up here to kind of secure it. I don't know, that may come in handy, I'm not sure. I don't know, I feel like that would probably only fall off if your stitching failed them. Yeah. I don't see it falling off. That's quite a bit of stitching yeah, through there. I don't know. That's just something I'm doing. Okay, now, here's the thing. When you're looking at this, okay, if it's cold and there's no rain and there's no snow, you can crawl in here and you can cook inside. You can have a fire in the middle and the smoke will come straight out the top. Yeah, I still don't know about that one. Putting what? a fire in a tent? Well, that's Even the with the opening? Wait a minute. Calm that's made down. of cloth? Hold on. Back the banana boat up. Let me show you something. I'm now good. What can do to get the smoke to evacuate, what I have done is I have a double door here. Now the door's not finished. I'm gonna have to get some Velcro. But what I've done here is I've put on some more of this webbing to kind of add weight so it'll sit on. But what you can do is you can lift this door up and hold it open, and you've got a net in there. Now when you've got a fire going, it'll pull through the net and evacuate the smoke up through the top. Now, the thing about the heat and the smoke coming out the top is if, let's, let's say, you went to your favorite trout stream or whatever, or even if you turned this into a long-term shelter, you could take the fish and cut the fish off and lay the fish over these racks and actually smoke it over a period of time. As long as you have a fire inside here, you know, build your little fire ring with rocks inside, as long as you did that, you could lay your fish on top and it'd smoke and dry and preserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the or you can thing. take a shower on the fish juices that drip down on you. You could do what? Take a shower on the fish juices that drip down on you. <laughs> They'll be dripping on the fire. Now, the other thing that you could do here is... As long as your shelter hasn't already caught on fire because you put a fire in a fabric tent. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nick, why, why are you raining on my parade? <laughs> I can't help it. It's a, it's. I how does this not catch on fire? I said because you're going to have the fire in the middle. You'll have a fire ring, or you can have well, a bucket. You can you have, have a, a bucket in the middle with a fire. You have your no. fire in there in the middle, but what do you do about what you're sleeping on? That's in I'll the middle. I'll show you. We're fixing to crawl in there. Now the other thing you can do is if you've made food or if you've brewed coffee and the coffee's done. The other thing you can do is you could probably, I think, probably set your pot up there. And with all the heat rising, that it's not going to be hot, but I think it'll stay warm. Now, this is something we're going to have to experiment with during the winter. All right. And I think I'm going to put a little loop right here. That's just for now. I'm going to put a loop to hold that door open for now. So, And I'm going to have to add some Velcro to this. You can see gravity. This is just kind of laying there right there like that so yeah all right now i'm gonna do one other thing real quick and then i'm going to show you the final piece of the puzzle which is just the coolest piece of the puzzle okay so what we're going to do here let's see i'm going to take this let's take the sticker i got right here let me get this here let's see where's a good place? follow me up here Nick. what we want to do I'm going to take this 
and I'm going to go in at an angle. Just like that. Might be better with a bigger knife or a machete, but I'm going to try to do this with a mora. So this tent is waterproof or are we fixing to get wet in about an hour? <laughs> We're not going to get wet. It is water resistant right okay. now, but I'm going to waterproof it. Is it going to resist the downpour I'm feeling is coming? Cause yeah, I think it will. It was bright and sunny and now it's completely overcast. All right. So and what I want to do is I want to crawl inside real quick and take a peek at how much room we actually have in it. Cause I haven't even been in it. So we have this thing right here. Move We're kind of downhill. I thought this was flat. Right, so let's crawl inside. Set that right inside the door. Let's set this inside here. And hang that from there. All right. Let's just tuck this behind here. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I got more Velcro in to do. I'm gonna crawl in, and then you hand me the camera, and you crawl in behind. Uh, I hand the camera. Alright. Alright, it's going to be dark in here, so. So I can edit it lighter, I'm going to cut it off. Cut it off so I can see the editing. Now we're, what we want to do here is we want to see how much room we got in here. Like for two people. Now here's the thing. The door is here and if Nick is on that side and I'm on this side, we want to see if we can, if there's going to be room right here in the middle. So I tell you, it's not easy to hold a portable tripod mount. Oh, I believe it. Can't really remove, maneuver in here, so sorry folks. So let's move this over here. Like I say, when we're in here, we're gonna have we're gonna have our bivy uh, sacks in here, and we're gonna have our well, probably have maybe have our sleeping bags. I don't know. Like I said, this is a work in progress. All right, so let's take a look here. Now, my head, my head will be at this corner. No, my head will be at this corner. My head will be at this corner, Nick's head will be at the corner where he's at, and our stinking feet will be down at that end. All right, so let's take this and let's look. See what kind of diameter we have here. All right, it's gonna be very, very close, but what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to have, we're gonna have to have rocks all built around here. And let me see if I can lay down. And I'm gonna be touching, touching the wall. Well, I know now that you can bump the side of it and not knock it all over. That's why I'm going to waterproof it, because if the sides touch us... Now look at my feet. Now how much have I got up here at my head? Um... Plenty? Yeah, okay. what? Alright. I think if I had to... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, next time you see the setup, instead of us having rocks right here, I think we're gonna have a suspended pan. You remember the fire pan tarp TP? Maybe. I think we're gonna suspend a pan. Or just set a bucket here and have a small fire. Because yeah. with two of us in here, it'll be no big deal. Now this fabric, I didn't want it to weigh, you know, 100 pounds. And that's why I didn't make it very big. But I mean, with no fire, yeah, we could sleep in here comfortably. We're just gonna have to see this winter, Nick. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to just set this thing up and put the rocks in. And I may have to put on some more loops like we did last time. Hey, you know something come to think of? Did you see that bow right there? Yeah. Oh. See that bow right there? See how this is bowing in? What I could do is I could tie a paracord from one stick to another and it would help hold this out. That's another thing. Yeah, that's what we'll do next time. Cool. But you can see, did you shine the camera up in there in the roof? 
Yeah. And so you could put a little natural light there. Yeah. Like if I was by myself, I could shift this over and have the fire over. Now look how far away it is from me there. If I was by myself, I could have that over there, and I could even have two pots hanging from that if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm trying to get this in shot here. Yeah, this not is, very easy. Nah. Well, let's get out of here and let's uh, show the final part of this setup. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> I bet it does. All right, let me have that camera, and you you crawl out first. Yeah, you should see how I've been sitting here filming. <laughs> the life of a cameraman. Or show off how I've been filming, sitting here have, have filming. <laughs> I've been having to sit like this and hold the camera kind of like this just to try and film. So I've been squished over in this corner right here. He's trying to use my hat to light up everything. He's crammed in the corner. All right, let's get you let's get you crawling out that window right there. All right, no problem. What we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set this thing back down because it was too hard to film inside. We're not going to film inside anymore. Let's get rid of this thing here drop that door back down. I'm going to have to do some Velcro to this door to get it to stay down. But for now, that webbing has helped it a good bit. Now, for the final piece of the puzzle. What do we have here? Hmm. We have a triangle with some webbing. Awesome. Awesome. Now, here's the thing, okay? If I'd have thought about it, if I'd have had some foresight, instead of putting the webbing at each corner, I would, and I'm going to make another one, and I may make it a little bit bigger, but I'm going to make a webbing loop and run all along the edge, loop all along the edge. Because that way, if you had to, while you're on the trail, you could set this up and use it as a bushcraft chair. Ain't that cool? Hmm. All right. Now, the other thing, people that have watched my videos in the past have seen how I'll take two frozen water bottles and put steak or chicken or whatever the meat is in between them and wrap them in some sort of reflective material. So, what you can do is put your food in here with two frozen water bottles and fold it up. And then once you've gotten to your destination, you've got, you've kept your meat or chicken from spoiling. Okay? So that's another use for it. Alright? The other use is you could use this as a, like a basket for like whenever we're out and we're, if you're picking blackberries or gathering mushrooms or, or digging up roots, you can carry them in this, okay? Yet another use for it. And if by some chance, I'm not going to explain why, but if by some chance you happen to have to carry water that's hot and you want to keep it hot, you can carry it like that. Isn't that cool? Like say, if you're in bear territory and your fire and your food is away from camp, but you want to bring warm water back to camp, then this is how you do it. That big old spider right there. Man, I couldn't even catch him. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. He's right there, see? Man, he's fast. You see? Oh, there it is. Ah, there he goes. I wish I could run that fast. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, now this is freestanding. And now the other thing is I'm gonna have, I have 99% uh, fantastic viewers friends and commenters and then I have one percent know-it-alls that you can't tell them nothing they know you can show them all kinds of cool stuff and they're just it just in one eye and out the other they don't even care it's like they have, all they want to do is comment on how smart they are <laughs> so enough of my rant <laughs> that's not nice. those are the gonna people that they're gonna be asking what if it rains or snows well, this well what do you do about the giant spiders crawling on your tent uh, that's why you're in a beach where is it I can't even see it. It's camouflage. No, it's still on there. I can't even see it because it's camouflage. Oh, there it is. All right. So anyway, what you're going to do with this thing right here now is there's two different things that you can do. And I haven't I haven't decided yet because, like I said, it's still in development. And like I say, if y'all have any uh, constructive additions you think would be cool, you know, put them in the comment section. One of the things you could do is cut these a little bit longer and then have this thing sitting on top like that. And then I can put some buckles or some webbing down here on this and attach this so that, you know, I'm just using this as an example so that, you know, this thing will, it'll be held up off of it. But for the most part, I'm always out into the woods. So what I'm going to do is pick out some trees and tie a paracord up to cover that. And the fact that it's 
got reflective underneath it is also a good thing because let's take a peek at what we have in here for some pieces because uh, it'll help kind of trap the heat too whenever it's real cold so let's take all these pieces here look at that drop a few yeah drop a few let's tie off through that one tree there All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to rig this thing up. I want to find a tree that's in line. We're going to rig up. And see, we're going to try to suspend this thing. I'm going to do one corner to see how hard it is. And then we're going to see how, it adjust, how hard it is to adjust. Now, this thing right here, I'm using a taut line hitch so that I can move it around and adjust it. I'm going to take this paracord over here. I'm going to tie it up right here. Just like that. Now, see, it's not pulling it off, which is a, a good thing. That makes me, makes me happy. Now see we got a nice loop to it. And so when I put the other three on there, what I'm going to do is I'll be able to pull this back to kind of lift this thing up a little bit. All right, so we've got another tree adjacent to that corner and got one way far off on that corner. I hope I got enough paracord to reach it. So, all right, we'll, we'll get you back after we got all three of them tied up and uh, adjusted. I'll, I'll, or I'll show you how to adjust them. All right. So as you all can see here, we have the cover on top put up, and it is perfectly, and I do mean perfectly, above the tent. It is doing a good job of um, catching wind for us to hold on for later. All yeah, right. So it's enough, enough of Nick's smarty, smarty pants out. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to adjust it, but I have learned something from this. Look at that. Look at that. You can tell by the wind. Is that normal? No. What this tells me is that I'm going to have to have a couple of loops on here. Hold on. You let go of it. I'm gonna, look at that. I'm going to have to have a couple of loops. I don't think he wanted loops. me to let go of it. I'm going to have to have a couple of loops to keep this thing pulled down. But now let me show you how, we, how we're going to adjust it. Look at that. Look. What you're going to do, since I used a taut line hitch, I'm going to pull it this way. Then I'm gonna have to back off on that one because it's got to go that way. And then let's pull it this way. See, and that's what you do right there. You just gotta use taut line hitches to adjust it. Now look at that. That's better. That's a lot better. But like I said, it's directly above it. But what I need to do is run. Well, I know what I could do. I could get them little bungees and run the little bungees from here to here. I wish I had some. Let's let's rig this up something so that we can emulate doing that. How about that? Yeah. But that's what I'll do is I'll get them little bungees and I'll put them in there. All right. Look a layer on here. I don't know. I don't know if any of y'all can see anything on here. So let's see if we pull it down here. Yeah, the sun decided to come back out. How about that? I Good think, work. yeah, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right there. It probably wouldn't hurt to use rope next time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do on the next one. I'm just going to save this as a, a wood carrying, uh, food carrying device, I think, because I've got plenty of this material and the reflective material, and I'm going to make one a little bit bigger and I'm going to run the webbing all the way around it so that I can use rope instead of paracord, some uh, that mini rope. But that's, this is basically, this is the basic idea right here. So you can move it around right above it. Now since I pulled it that way, I need to pull it a little bit this way. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right there. And when I put three bungees, I'm going to have the bungees going from here to here on all three corners little mini bungees. 
Cool. All right, so that's it. Uh, it's awesome. Anything you want to add, Nick? Yeah. Wash. About the fire in the center of it. Well, we'll see when the weather starts cooling off. And I've got, I got that Velcro I got to do, and then I got to add some loops right here, and then I got to make another one of these. Oh, and I may make a, a liner for this thing. I don't know if it's going to be a black liner or a reflective liner, but I want this thing double wall because even if we eventually don't use a fire or don't all the time, it would be nice to have this as a double wall tent to block the wind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I guess we could still use this thing right here for, you know, to keep condensation out. Because you can't be completely sealed up in a shelter like this. So, Alright, well that's it, Nick. Uh, yeah, I'd use it. Alright, where are we nice. going to when it cools off? So, Alright, uh, hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. Uh, any suggestions you have, anything you think would be cool to add to this, you know, within reason, <laughs> let me know. And... Uh, I may add it. You know, it just it may be in the final product. So, I know I got a bunch of other shelters and tents that I've been working on, but I've been thinking about this one for like three years now, and I'm really I'm really wanting this and done. This is going to be cool. <laughs> I love the idea of carrying what you're carrying on your back is going to be your shelter, your grill, your tarp, your you know, so and so. I I, I, I love the idea of that. So. All right, till the next one, we shall see you in the next one. See you later.